What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a gem fragments farming guide on how to farm up a lot of the gems in season four. Now, I know a lot of people are struggling on gems and like being able to get a lot of the gems here. Like I'm still struggling on rubies for all of these nodes because it's just really hard to get these. And I know they're selling like crazy. Um, some ones that I'm not spending uh, are really, really good. And I actually, while I'm here, just need to go ahead and do this, do this. And we're gonna go ahead and do sapphires for more vulnerable damage, which is gonna be great. We'll make two more of those and put these in here because I, I'm a better Diablo player now. Uh, but yes, so how to farm these precious, precious, precious gems. Now, the first way is what I'm gonna show you now, and that is gonna be the nightmare dungeons that you can do in the season. Nightmare dungeons are very, very good, okay? Nightmare dungeons farm up a lot of items. Um, they drop a lot of gems. The best way is killing a bunch of elites in the game. However, once you reach a certain point, especially after you've upgraded your glyphs, um, uh, no, that's okay, thank you, DT. Uh, once you've leveled up all of your glyphs, you don't really have a whole lot of reason to come in here anymore. So it's like, what do you do outside of that? But I will show you and tell you that Nightmare Dungeons are by far the best way to rack up a bunch of glyphs, or excuse me, um, gems this season, okay? You want to kill as many elites as possible. So you want to target a lot of dungeons that have elites, right? Uh, now, once we finish this dungeon, I'm going to go to the second part of this video and just show you the best nightmare dungeon in my opinion or one of the best that will drop a lot of uh j or jewels or gems gem fragments in a season i really love this new update today with the tooltip it's absolutely fantastic um now let's talk about why the gems have changed so much and why they they kind of nerfed them i'm not really sure why they nerfed gem fragments the way they did um, I guess we had way too much, but I don't think that matters, right? Like, it's the same thing with the Scatter Prism change today with the world bosses and stuff. Like, it's good to have these items as a commodity. And, you know, they're selling like crazy off the shelves. Like, people are, were selling the high-level gems for a lot of money. And I felt like it was kind of robbery in a way because you can get these gems, like, just by playing the game. Like, we shouldn't have to spend gold which is already really tough to keep in order to buy gems that we need for our build right uh, so i'm not really sure why they made it a change i really felt like the gems that we had maybe it was a little bit too much uh before but it's not it's not as bad as it used to be or not as good so like maybe like lower it you know maybe instead of at this stage in the game have hu having hundreds of thousands of gems to where it's not a problem at all maybe you know it's less right maybe it's a little less but when it comes to farming these you want to target elites and the higher nightmare tier dungeons that you do the more that you're going to get however there's one in particular that you can speed through and that's going to give you the same equivalent of gems um at the same level but it's not a tier 100 so we'll talk about that in just a second oh my god i don't even need to kill all these guys but Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You see these elites getting a bunch of gems, which is great. So farming nightmare dungeons are really great. If you want to do what I'm doing and you're just farming like multiple, you know, characters, that's a really good way to do it. Kill, get rid of all this, man. Get rid of all these guys. Kill all this stuff, man. Get these fat rots out of here for the video. Nice. Nice, nice. So the 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 regular nightmare dungeons are great. However, let's go back to town and we're going to show you the dungeon that you can craft and not only get a bunch of gems because it has a bunch of elites, but you can kill a boss at the end. I'm sure you got all the hints now and uh, get some items that you may need for your build. And that is going to be your glacial fissure. Um, tier you can craft these it's very easy to craft these you rack up a bunch of sigils and I'm going to show you why you have to make sure that you full clear this you have to full clear it and then kill beast in the ice at the end um, and 
even though this is a tier 85 like the monsters are a level 85 it's only a tier 31 you're gonna blast right through it um and just kill everything and this is really good if you're just playing the game and you know you're trying to level up if you can start crafting a lot of these you know this will get you a lot of gems for later in the game as you continue to level so i would definitely run this as much as you can get a lot of sigil powder save it all and run this and that is if you're farming gems because you see 214 235 this is the same amount that a tier 100 that a tier 100 will drop but it doesn't have the same difficulty which is very very nice um but again you just gotta clear through all of this i know this has been a big problem throughout the season and we're trying to come up with different ways to solve these issues in a season and figure out how we can kind of combat some of the nerfs of these resources i'm not really sure why the resources you know some of the stuff has been nerfed maybe you guys have an answer for me down in the comment section but you're just blasting through and you'll you'll get all these elites that drop in and you'll fight all these elites and it'll just drop a crap ton of fragments you can see it's all over the place and go through make sure we clear absolutely everything and all of them drop so many so many we gotta make sure we clear it all baby clear it all yeah you gotta make sure you clear it all or you won't get those guys that drop down miss all these elites here that's done and then we can come up here the dungeon is very very short so you're gonna be able to like speed run this very uh very fast you guys know it's the beast in the ice dungeon so very very easy but this is what i've been doing between just running normal nightmare dungeons to try to get my gems up because now i got four characters this season i'm gonna make my i'm gonna make my druid eventually and i need gems man it sucks when you're trying to like rack up life and you're making lower level gems it's just kind of a bummer you know what i mean so we're blasting but yeah guys this is going to be the best way to do this i would definitely suggest running beast in the ice over and over and over again plus if you need items from him for a particular build then you are good to go and again like you you just you just you just breeze right through this man like i said make sure you clear make sure you clear whoops because you'll get the ones that spawn and the ones that drop in. And now we can go kill the BC Ice. And hopefully we get a really good item. Cal chop that, sucker. Cal chop that. And he's dead. Parnished all. Level the glyph, the pride thing up. Boom, we got items. And that's it, guys. That's how you're going to farm up a crap ton of gems this season. Um, you will still rack up a bunch of fragments and stuff as you're just, you know, generally playing. But if you don't have enough or you're not farming enough Nightmare Dungeons or just do Beast of the Ice, it is by far the best way. If you guys have another way, let me know down in the comments below. Let's try to get this over 50 likes. And as always, stay gaming, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.